I really hope Gordo's done some good deeds in this one. Game 7 of the regular season. We're here taking on the Minnesota Wild. Gordon's got two goals, one assist so far in his NHL career. Hopefully he gets more ice time. Because really that's been the only thing that has been a detriment to his career so far. Taking on the undefeated Minnesota Wild. Carey Price in net. And Gordo starts on the bench once again. Minnesota Wild get out to a quick 1-0 lead here. Before Gordon even takes the ice, he's on the ice now. Well, that was a dramatic start, to say the least. Attempt number two at game number seven of the regular season. Will the Minnesota Wild score first again? EA Sports, what do you have in store for us this time? It's really in the game. It's the same. 1-0 Mini here. Gordo hops on the ice for his first shift. That was almost a minus there. Hated that right off the start. Got to play some good defensive hockey here. The Wild got the puck. Centering pass. Stopped by Carey Price. Gordon providing an outlet. He's got a step. Or at least I thought he did. Goligoski pinches him off there. Turn back the other way. Dvorak's through with Gordon. Gordon, the wrist shot. Stopped there by Marc-Andre Fleury. Gordon working in front of the net. He's got the puck now. Gordon spins. No, blocked. Probably should have passed to Dvorak there. But it's a good first shift for Gordon. And it'll probably be his only shift of the period. Gordon's getting another shift here. St. Louis must really like him. 2-0 here. Wild early on in the first period. Dvorak wins the draw. Gordon. Nice breakout pass to Jeff Petrie. Move the puck. He does to Gordon. Gordon, quick shot. Looking for the rebound there. Providing the screen in front there. Great chance for the Canadians to get one back. Looks like he's got jump in his legs. I wonder if he helped out the homeless again. Just like he did in the last episode. Last time he helped out the homeless, he got a goal and an assist. So... Whatever works. Got to get those good deeds in. Dvorak's got the puck now. He's going to find Gordon on the outlet. Gordon's got a step. Gordon's free. The shot! Not even close. Gordon's all over the ice here early in this one. The Canadians. Great defensive recovery there. Look at Gordon. He's all over the ice trying to help out his teammates. Dadnoff gets the puck in deep. Gordon trying to play the physical... Play there and tries to body off his body off his man. That just sounds weird, Josh. Oh my goodness, Josh Gordon's gonna get another shift here. Two shifts in the first, two shifts in the second. Almost a big minus again, hopping right off the bench, trying to help out his teammates. Carey Price makes the save. We are gonna move the puck out. That's a bad call for a pass, or was that a bad pass? I don't know about that one. Is Gordon gonna get some power play time here. He is. Let's go. But now the Wild are having a shorthanded chance here. Let's go. Just like William Nylander. Cherry picking. Into the zone. Here comes Gordon. Centers the pass in front. Doesn't connect. And it's cleared. Can't believe Gordon's getting some power play time here. Now he's onside. Stops up. Spins. Pass in front. Nobody gets there. Just playing the body in front there. Kulikov's got the puck now. And he'll clear it down the ice. Gordon's in through the zone. Gordon comes in. Quick shot. It's a weak shot, apparently, according to EA Sports. Through the zone. Around his man. Gordon to the front of the net. Stopped by Fleury. Gordon doing it all himself again. Very active game here for Gordo. But he can't put one past Marc-Andre Fleury. The veteran goaltender. Gordon gets muscled off the puck there. Not a great look. We haven't had any sustained pressure yet. Coach, I've been all over the ice in this game. Have you been watching this game? I don't think so. Regardless, we're hopping back on the ice. Trying to get within one. Gordon battling there in the corner. 
Coach is calling for a line change. I say, hell no. Here's a chance for Gordon. Finds Dvorak the shot. Goes off a skate. The Wild trying to get the puck out of the zone. They can't. Gordon and Dvorak are helping out here. Now Gordon's free. Gordon to the front of that backhand shot. Stopped by Fleury. A well-aimed shot there for Gordon. But it's not going to be enough. The Canadians are going to fall again. This time to the Minnesota Wild. Once again being shut out. Despite a very active game from Gordon. I bet you the coach has nothing good to say. I bet you he says... Oh, hey, you know what? He says he's got nothing to complain out there. And once again, we'll say, sure, coach. Game number two of this episode sees the Montreal Canadiens head to Buffalo to take on the Sabres. In the last episode, or the last game, Gordon had six shots on net, but no goals. Here's Dvorak. Finds Gordon streaking through. Gordon, quick shot. Was that stopped? chance in front there centers oh man Gordon's all over it again battling with Tuck here Tuck Gordon the shot stopped again 42 seconds to go in the first period Buffalo's lost their last five games let's see if we can get a quick goal here off the face off and there's a shot that's blocked it was a good look a dump and chase there for Dvorak for Gordon to get a huge hit there on Rasmus Dahlin. Move the puck. Romanov finally does to Gordon. Gordon's in. Waiting. That was just bad. That was terrible. It's god awful. How many words are there in the English language to describe that play? Who really knows? Long simulation there, but the Canadians get two goals to take a 3 2 lead. Let's see what happens here in the last couple of minutes. Gallagher turns the puck over. Petrie battling there with Cousins. Gordon's there as well. Gordon, the slapper, turned aside there. Gets the puck in deep. Dvorak finds Gordon. Gordon stops up, waits for help. Spins back, finds Dvorak the shot. The rebound there is cleared. Here's Romanov to Gordon. Knocked down. Wasted. Romanov to Gordon icing on the cake empty netter for Josh Gordon his third goal of the regular season and this will be a Montreal Canadiens win in Buffalo third game of this episode Josh Gordon looking to add on to his goal total after getting an empty netter in Buffalo but you know what in the cutscenes, the fans are calling into the James Sabalski show and they're saying it's not enough. This rookie, he's kind of a bust. I'm not sure how that's appropriate considering I'm getting lots of shots recently, scoring lots of goals. Eight games, nine games, whatever it is into his NHL career. Four on four hockey here. Gordon tripped up, knocked down, turns the puck over, and Thomas is out of the zone. Gordon. Makes a dipsy doodle. Tries to get around Zidane Chara playing on the Blues. He does get around Zidane to the front of the net. Well-aimed shot. Turned aside there by probably Bennington. Canadians on the power play now. Look at Gordon control the puck. Gordon gets run over by Zidane. And he's slow to get up. Could be an injury on the play. And one of my teammates is coming to my defense. Let's take on Zidane. Let's get right back at him. No. It's Gabranson and Josh Anderson pounding it out toe-to-toe. -to -toe. And it's going to be an uppercut there from Anderson. Gabranson. Just break it up, refs. Just break it up. This is sad. Nobody's connecting. Boom. There's the last connection. Josh Anderson takes down Gabranson. Oh, here's a comparison I love to see. Josh Gordon, Ryan O'Reilly, Toronto Maple Leaf. Ryan O'Reilly. We're playing the right wing now. That's kind of interesting. Oh, centering pass there. Great save by Carey Price off of terrible defense from Gordon. Tarasenko to fault to Tarasenko. The shot stopped by Carey Price. 
and Hill hang on. Another face-off loss there. Thomas is in. Defensive recovery there from Gordon. Can they get out of the zone this time? Petrie, move the puck! Petrie turns it over. Jordan Cairo in, dipsy doodle. And Carey Price makes the save. Gordon's got the puck. Gordon. Let's get the movement. Let's get the movement. Centers in front. Hoffman, the rebound. Finnington, the save. I thought that was a good setup. Move the puck to Gordon. Does he have a step? He does not. He stops up. Instead, he'll try to feed Hoffman, who went right by the net. Gordon picks the pocket there of O'Reilly. Can't get a shot away. Gordon trying to get net front positioning. He's got great net front positioning, but it doesn't really matter. It's late back check now. Because he's just Gordon's just standing there and stunned and stunned disbelief that his teammates couldn't get him the puck. And that puck is cleared down the ice at the end of the period. The horn sounds. And we go to the third tied at zeros. I'm not going to give you a shift for the first seven minutes of the period. Kind of going to bench you. But you know what? We need to continue to apply pressure. Well, get me out there, coach. Give me some ice time. Yeah, I'll give you pressure. Better yet, I'll get you a goal. You hear it here first. It's going to happen. Dvorak loses the second attempt on the faceoff. Buchnevich dumps the puck in. Falk. Oh, walks around Gord. Great shot there. Stopped by Carey Price. Hoffman's on the puck. He'll feed Gordon. Great feed from Hoffman. The wind up, the bad angle shot. Stopped by Bennington. That was a sneaky attack. Didn't really work out in that instance. That's the end of period number three. Will Gordon see some ice time in overtime? Let's find out. Gordon is on the ice. Can Dvorak win the faceoff from Giroux? He cannot. Pareko's in to Tarasenko. Tarasenko the shot. Let's go. Speed, 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 speed. No. Pareko, great back check. Gordon gets the puck, stops up. Got his man going to the net, and he's turned the puck over. Gordon's got a back check now. He's out of gas already. What a weak effort there from Gordon. Tarasenko moves the puck. Nobody there because all three Canadians were on one man. Giroux, Pareko, shot just wide. Dismal effort here from the Canadians. The shot stopped by Carey Price, and he'll hang on. A brutal shift in overtime for Gordon. And the blue score. There's current Toronto Maple Leaf Nola Chari. The Blues fans are going crazy. The graphic came up, Josh Gordon there in blues colors. Maybe he'll be a member of that organization one day because this, so far, is clearly just not working out. But coach, can't complain what we did out there. Just like after every game, we'll say, sure coach.